In the Ozarks, the mass shooting has reminded many in the LGBT community how easy it is to be singled out. KY3's Justin Hodges is live from the Oasis Inn and Convention Center, where Springfield's LGBT community is kicking off Pride Week. Dustin? Paula, one thing we've heard over and over again from members of Springfield's LGBT community is just how close knit it is, many of whom know one another and share the same hangouts like Martha's Vineyard, where we spoke to the general manager who said he has been to Pulse nightclub in Orlando before, and he spoke about how last night's shooting hit close to home, not just for him, but for the entire LGBT community. I was totally shocked because I was like, I mean, it could have been at Martha's. For Martha's Vineyard General Manager Matt Dennison, Saturday night's mass shooting at Pulse nightclub hits close to home, not just because Dennison manages a gay club. It could have been at any nightclub, but for it to be at a gay nightclub, it was very shocking. Um, I was very saddened by the news, um, and I was kind of I was kind of speechless. Dennison has also visited Pulse nightclub in Orlando. And I went down there for a vacation with a friend and we went to Pulse basically every night we were there for an entire week. Um, and yeah, you just you never know with people what they what their intentions are. It does hit home. It could happen anywhere. And I, I don't think it's something you can necessarily prepare for, but you can't live in fear either. While the LGBT community in Springfield refuses to be afraid, Nightclubs like Martha's Vineyard are also beefing up security as they celebrate LGBT pride. Uh, Springfield Pride Fest is June 18th and um, it's one of our busiest nights of the year here. Um, we definitely will have additional security that night. I don't want people to fear coming here and fear of something like that happening here. Um, and we're going to take extra precautions. <laughs> And while the gay pride pageant is wrapping up here behind me, Pride Week continues all week long. On Friday night at 8 p.m., the Gay and Lesbian Community Center of the Ozarks will be holding a candlelit vigil for victims of the Orlando shooting, as well as survivors and their families. Live at the Oasis Inn and Convention Center, Dustin Hodges, KY3 News.